Theme song. We're back with Donkey Boswick. I'm sorry. I meant Chadwick Boysman. <laughs> Boys like that, because that could have gone fucking hilariously. Like that, oh, that just been I wish it did now. Like I'm upset I didn't see that look, happen. Like, this is the thing. It's like the internet is hyper hyper social. So that means that everything's just turned up to fucking maximum, and that's not always good. Even when the intention is good, even if he was just a bullied kid, it's like, mm. oh, we'll fucking give him a good day. No, because he's just gonna go home and still look like sloth from Goonies, and probably still be fucking you know bullied, even if that bullying isn't like you know. Maybe the fucking reaction to him going around calling the other children the Neegers. <laughs> Neegers. So good. Like, like, and his his mom wasn't just like the fucking uh, I'll fucking Southern pride kind of thing, where you could you know maybe fob some of it off as just garden variety ignorance. Mm. It was specifically like ah blacks. Oh wow. <laughs> and also like I think she's like the kind of fucking. You know, hillbilly that would exactly use this to sort of try to cash in. Like she's a cash in hillbilly. Sweet. Yeah, you gotta watch out for them. Dude, there isn't that what the f isn't that what Honey Boo Boo is? Yeah, but you know, hers was legit. Like, what are you, a uh, child fucking beauty pageant monster? Oh, okay. <laughs> I find that shit fascinating. Also, like apparently, she legit like saved all the show money and stuff. What do you mean saved it? Like just ordered it? Yeah, like didn't just like fucking you know spend it on drugs. Yeah, and didn't just spend shit. it on itself. Well, that's good. Yeah, which you know if that if, if that's true and it was like put put away for like boo boo, then you know I'm sure she's gonna have the finest fucking surgery to replace the foot the diabetes takes. The beatus. <laughs> beatus. It's coming because it is coming for you. You know you can't be fucking balloon fat as a kid and then no. And like most of the fat was in the head too. Yeah, like that great, like fucking just weird. Like I can understand like belly fat and all that shit. Where it's like, oh, uh, where it's like, oh, okay, you know, yeah, that's just where it goes. But mm. then, you know, when you get this like kind of insane fat, fuck you, this insane fat face. Yeah, face fat. All right, where's this taking me? <laughs> that was just not all that fucking helpful to be honest, man. And I don't like the look of that octopus. I think this octopus there has a bit of an issue. You know what's been on my mind like super crazy lately? The fucking giant octo rocks from Wind Waker that popped up where the seagulls were. I love that section. Those work all yeah. I love Wind Waker. It's such a good game. I, f I feel the open world of Wind Waker benefits me exploring it more than Breath of the Wild. Which is impressive because the open world of Wind Waker has barely anything in it. Yeah. Like I played through that again and it's like... Oh. You know what would benefit exploration of Breath of the Wild like a ton? Caves. Caves, stuff. grottos. Fucking, all right, look, the hurt box on Kong is like. Yeah, I got your puzzle piece now, octopus. Now you can't finish your jigsaw. Fuck you. I'm, solve I'm solving your fucking puzzle, motherfucker. Yeah, I know how this is gonna go. All right, don't give me a regular barrel. Give me a diddy barrel. A diddle barrel. What's that do? I don't know. Fuck it. All right. I feel like I'm missing something. I here. feel like you are too. It's weird. Like, you can interact with it, so... Wait, oh, you might have to throw the barrel into it. Oh, all right. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, nice try. Oh. A nice noise. It was a good shot noise. <laughs> it's like his Wolverine's claws were made of noodles. That has to exist in a multiverse somewhere. Ramen Verine. <laughs> oh, okay, it's grass. Touch up through it. You gotta fucking. You gotta hang on. Hang on to the day of life. Help me, brain pig. You know you're gonna have to carry that. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Out. He's got a pulsating like head. Oh fucking! <sighs> Did you hold the button? Yeah, I didn't think it would just like fucking activate raw when you landed. Well, at least you know the point is I hit that cunt. Oh, back where we were.
Aren't more fucking. Uh, Jesus, you know Apparently not. Just leave the fucking lettuce. Who cares? Oh, I was ticked off. I had him go. I was going well though. Yeah, fuck you, octopus. Was I supposed to wait? Was there a fight gonna happen? Nah. Alright, fuck it. I think he's just like a set piece. Fuck you, fuck your stupid octopus head. Now the octopus are gonna revolt. I went revolt. to pee in year 12 downstairs from typing class and there was just an octopus in the urinal. And <laughs> fucking what? Yeah, it wasn't alive, but it also wasn't like... What size are we talking here? Uh, you know, about the size of a fist. Oh fuck, man. And it was like, you know, it wasn't like if it was pickled or something, I'd be like, okay, someone got that from a deli. <laughs> but it wasn't. So there was just like, someone's got an octopus for some reason. The photos that people are putting on Twitter of like Street Fighter characters then attached with like on a real picture with their arms kill me. Except the one dude who's like trying too hard and the arms aren't like photoshopped correctly so they're off. Like he's just making them for the sake of being popular. I'm like dude just settle down. Cause he did a Zangief one doing the Cyclone and had like six arms going off on each direction. But it was photoshopped so poorly. That fucking blows all the bananas away. What did that do? It made that come up. Huh. This feels like treacherous territory. I feel like there might be something down there. Well, we'll never do. Go back, coins. This is not oh, the end of bonuses. Sharky. <laughs> nibble, nibble, nibble. <laughs> I'm a hungry shark. Ooh. Get fucked. Ooh. Oh, that's right. Ship me down to where the bonuses live. I'd like to see, like... Once VR becomes, like, things with, like, omnidirectional treadmills and shit, like, very refined. I'd like to see a Mario Brothers VR, like, a 2D one where you just gotta run in a straight line and jump over shit. That'd be sweet. Because they had a- they had a game like that on sort of, like, on Wii Fit. Where you were put on like platforms up in the air. Oh, bummer. Oh, damn. And you had to, you know, step to r and then jump to jump <laughs> platforms. It was really cool. I think that's something for like, again, like that's a zero latency idea. Yeah. I wish there was some way we could record zero latency. I'd love to be able to do that. For those who don't know, zero latency is a warehouse in Brisbane a live that does VR. VR thing. So they map out the whole room of the warehouse and then eight of you go in and like kill zombies and stuff. So you can see ever all your friends and stuff in, in the VR world and... You can actually move around. Yeah. It's like warehouse scale VR. So it's like VR that is like you imagine it when you imagine VR. Yeah. So we'll be we'll be likely doing that just after Christmas. Have, so I have none of them. All right. Oh, uh, come here, little buddy. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if anyone's modeled it to have a little fucking Danny DeVito riding you. They I should think get Danny DeVito should be the target of more mods just generally. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, fuck Christ, there's a Conan O'Brien Smash Brothers mod. Uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> there's some weird Smash Brothers mods, dude. Fucking. <laughs> fuck you, crab. That only gives you one chance. Yeah, it's a single use. Boom. There's a Oh, fuck off! That's got an active hurt box like a motherfucker. I feel like some of the fucking boxes in this are dicky. Dick boxes. It's my dick in a box! Good old Justin Timberlake. Whatever happened to him? I don't fucking know, dude. What's he doing these days? Is Act he upset that, like, Koreans replaced him in the boy band thing? Probably not. Like, he'd become an actor, remember? He's been in a few things. Yeah. He's a bit like The Rock, that like, I actually think he's really, actually quite funny in what he turns up in. Like, yeah. He, he tends to turn up in comedies, although he was sort of in Southland Tales. Oh, oh, that's a weird fucking example. I'll Google him. Justin... Timberlake. Justin Tumblepop. <laughs> Justin Randall Shit. Timberlake. Oh, what a name. Alright, look, I was ducking and I still had Diddy, so Diddy should have, like, fucking eaten some of that. Yeah, Diddy, you little shit cunt. I think the water one hits you no matter what. Well, no, I mean, like, something hit me. I was ducking behind the thing. Ah. Uh, so I feel like something fucking... 
you know, maybe getting hit, like, fucking activates my fucking uh, box up. He has a band called the Tennessee Kids. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Weird, like, celebrity side shit. It's usually a band, but, like... Alright, here's his career. Where's the last thing? Okay. Alright, he's, he's, been, he's been doing singing stuff again. Oh, okay. So, yeah, from February 20... February 20th. Oh, motherfucker! He opened the 89th Academy Awards with a performance of Can't Stop That Feeling. Since that the song like earned a him a nomination. Does. Woody Allen's film Wonder Wheel, starring Kate Winslet, featured Timberlake and Juno Temple in supporting roles. That's a weird one, Woody Allen. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, his name comes up a lot after this Weinstein thing. Because there's fairly credible, like, accusations that he molested his daughter. And not the one he wound up marrying is a fantastic oh, sentence. That's that hurts <laughs> my brain, dude. Like, no. Here's the crazy thing about the fucking Sung Yi thing. He's still married to her. That's like one of the strongest Hollywood relationships. That's fucking nuts. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, dude, the crab's gonna get you. Oh, it ain't gonna get shit. It ain't got shit on me. Fucking, I can't believe that's allowed. And well, okay. She was the adopted daughter of the woman he married. Yeah, so I know like, that. It's just... You know. Alright, look, what it's is... Just, it's just weird, though. There's a barrel down there. Alright, oh, okay. Oh, what the fuck, I don't care anymore. Oh, the that. big chest! It's gonna have the barrel in it! Hey! I it's married my daughter. daughter. to end. Yeah, so then, like... And the thing is, and here's the funny part about Sung Yi, is, like, everyone's like, alright, well, how old was she when, like, you know, Woody Allen started diddling her? Wasn't he, like... Tiny. Okay, well, yeah, but here's the thing, like, she was, like, some kind of Vietnamese refugee, and they literally don't know how old she is. <gasps> yeah, so she's, like, born, uh, around the fucking 1970 or some shit. Fuck, So, dude. like, yeah, she could have been anywhere between, like, you know, actually around 17, 18, or 14, like, no one mm. knows, like. <laughs> so, how do you, yeah, how do you age a human if you have no... Record of their birth. Yeah, that's pretty much. You're just going to be within a few years because there's no just hard thing that can really cut open their arm and count the rings. No, <laughs> that's, I've, yeah, I've always thought that was a bit of an oversight. Humans should have rings. Count the wrinkles in their butthole. Let's see what kind of life they've lived. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google Woody Allen. And like the thing about that one is, is as fundamentally creepy as it is, and oh, Jiminy Jillikas, it's fundamentally creepy. The legality of it is, yeah, you know. It's more interpersonally strange than anything else, and again, they've been married for like 20 fucking years, 30 probably. Alright, she now. also looks like a shovel. <laughs> Dude! Yeah. Tell me she doesn't look like a shovel. No, she looks like, well that's her now, you gotta like, you gotta like check on that 14 oh, yes. year old shit. Alright, uh, born circa October 8th, 1970. Yeah. Like, so that's the thing, we don't know, really. Yeah. Born in South Korea, Previn's true age and date of birth are unknown, estimated based on a bone scan. Her passport indicates date of birth of October 8th, 1970. According to Vanity Fair, her biological mother was a prostitute who would slam a door on Sun Yu's head as a form of punishment. Yeah, okay, like, that's why she looks like a shovel. Yeah, I mean, that's, here, here we are making fun of shovel face, <laughs> and it's like, you know... Well, why does she, well, why does Sung Yi look like a shovel? Shit, like, you know. In the late 1980s, the relationship with Woody Allen. Yeah, so that's what I mean. Like, she could have been... You know, she could have been of age. Yeah, well, you know, look. Not 14. So, <laughs> fucking, you know, or uh, by the low standards that Woody Allen has set. Alright, what am I missing here? I'm just gonna head, jump is, on it, yeah, now. Is that really it? Yeah. I don't know, man, like, nothing's happening. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, what, what about that? Is that thing supposed to fall on them? Above it? See the crates? Yeah, but like. I don't, like, I can't seem to do it. Oh, can I hang on to the crates? 
Yeah, no, I know that. Oh, oh dude, okay. roll into him when they got the claws up. Fucking Jesus. Oh, I got some health at least. I love that crabs will just hold anything you give to them. That is great. Alright, so you can just literally roll in on pretty much the second they're not like fucking. Oh, that was a bit shit. They, they, they have really large boxes around them when they flip like that. The boxes are odd. Odd boxes. Yeah. Fucking nice. Fucking eh. Your dinner. You're what I eat. You can see me, but you don't fucking do anything about it. Alright, that's a bit piss weak. <laughs> Here comes old blue. Hello, matey! Just along for the ride. Oh, you cheeky bugger. Nice try. You f Motherfucker! He changed his tactic. Well, again, they got fat boxes when they're coming down. Fat boxes! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much exactly what I thought too. Like, <laughs> nice try, nice try, motherfucker. Oh okay. no! Oh come on! Fuck off! Fuck off! Right off! Get out! Get out of the yard! Right. I want to register a complaint. Somebody bring me the waiter. I wish to cause a scene. <laughs> what was like a scene? Is one of my favorites. It's just, it's something that a, a proper adult can't do unless they're behaving like a child. Yeah, you know, like sir, just sir, causing you a are scene. causing a scene. Sneaky booger. Just die. Let's get out of my- Fucking- Dude! It's fucked! Come on! Finally! Fucking- He cheated. I'd be here for fucking ever at this rate. He's got a bit of jazz in his step. Won't help you though. Alright, look, I'm getting upset by that. Alright, he only took two. The last one took three. Is it random? Nice. Or is there a fucking variable that I can affect? Mm. He's taking more than two as well. Put your claws up, yeah, cunt. Oh, Dodge me jumping on your I fucking head. Cause I'm gonna. Maybe blue's just weaker. Cause it's used to ward off depression. <laughs> do your little, do your little, do it. Get fucked. Get fucked. I'm coming for your fleshy white innards. I would like a nice crab salad. Crab is great if somebody else prepares it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Holy fuck, it's a hassle. It's like- You know what's great? Morton Bay Bug. Yeah. It's a sea cockroach that's yeah, like nothing dude. but meat. Fuck, it's so nice. That's why I love Christmas time, because mum always makes prawns, so they're already peeled. Yeah. And I was like, yes! Although, if I could last year, I had to peel them myself. I'm like, what's going on here, mum? What's this? What's this, this bullshit? Ah. God almighty, the roll is like janky. No, you're gonna fucking do it yourself in a second. We should make a ripoff of Donkey Kong called Janky Kong. That's where I feel like I am now. Except every time you press like an action button, it just turns into Hong Kong 97. <laughs> it never ends. Watch it, don't try It's a game Hong that's not one. fun. Oh, it's revolutionary. Oh, oh, and that, like, had advertisements for selling Fuckin games at the start. <laughs> yeah. Sell me your bootleg games via Gumtree. <laughs> is this, like, fucking five now? Alright. Okay. I want to report a mistake. This crab takes too many hits. Yeah, that just seems to upset him. <laughs> there you. we go. Come on, that's got to be it. Oh, there you're gonna just stack again, yeah. <sighs> it's like a barrel full of monkeys, but they're crabs, and they're not in a barrel. Oh, that's a... Yeah. Oh, man, my Yeah, you bad. did it! I think it's done! Or... Is it? I am gonna shit in your home. 
Because a crab is just a bunch of fights and like a, the worst form of paper cut and then lemon <laughs> juice and then paper cuts and then like a centimeter of meat. And you're like, ooh, this is delicious. Get them. Kill the voodoo things. Oh, no! <laughs> Fucking always hated maracas. <laughs> Goddamn scary fucking shake fruit. There, look at that. You did it. Yeah. Congratulations. Fucking did it in style. You beat the beach. Yeah, fuck, We're fuck moving, the beach. We're I haven't moving. did the extra level. We're moving on to Sizzler. Oh, that sounds like a good fucking idea, actually. Does I, Sizzler still exist? I yeah, thought we got rid of Sizzler. Yeah, fucking expensive. That's not a good idea. I know. It <laughs> should be cheap. You can get my ass in there when it's fucking, like... Like, when they have know. specials, the salad bar on cheap is okay, but... You get a lot with salad bar. You can actually- salad you, you bar's, think salad bar is just like a lettuce and a tomato. It's pretty lame these days, but, dude. Oh, that's bleak, man. Like, it's just- <laughs> There's gotta be something over there. I know. Just, just do it, man. Just go for broke. Yeah! Oh, I fucking knew oh, it. Just a fucking drum that nobody else likes, so they left him <laughs> by himself. Hey, Bob, go sit on that <laughs> island. Fuck you guys! You oh, always yeah, made no, me fucking no, sit on Bob, the island. it's your turn. It's your turn. What the fuck? Oh, that is great. <laughs> Look at that fucking thing walk. That is just <laughs> the best. Why are you- Beating up avian drag queens. <laughs> that was the best enemy. It really does look like a drag queen, too. Like, when they got those really, like, insane fucking- When they're a short drag queen, but drag queens aren't meant to be short, you yeah. meant to have, like, a statuesque kind of, you know, So appearance. how did you get the boosty? I don't fucking know, man. It just happens sometimes. I just couldn't get it off those stupid fucking, you know, off cephalopods earlier. Fucking Squidbillies is a weird show. I thought sure. you could blow these guys out. Oh, you can. You just went blowing close. I enough, couldn't man. blow his fireball. Bam! I like. Those I love those dudes. <laughs> <laughs> like, Womp's cousin that suffers from me. Blow those out. Left, left. Oh, I the mean, candles. Smash vases, yeah, but left, left. The fucking candles. Yeah, I was getting the bananas. I knew. It was um, a thing. Look at that. That's safe. Grab, um, it. grab it when you get up there. Um, Womp, tap, grab. Uh, <laughs> oh, look, see, it's uh, it's a screaming idol that gives you something good. Oh yeah, there's you gotta yank more fucking screaming strangers. It just screams like homophobic slurs. Faggot! Faggot! <laughs> Bob Catter. We have to get a new emote. Actually, we'll replace the Kappa emote with a Catter emote. <laughs> What's the Catter emote? Uh, it's just you know, it's when you want to say something that's like what fucking saying. I think it's a miracle, it's stupid. And yes, before fucking you bother to, like it. Before you bother to post your inane fucking YouTube comment that I won't read, but I know you will because you're a peon. Yes, the people who vote for him are fucking idiots too. No, I don't care. People vote for him? Yeah. Because, you know, he thinks like them. He fucking, yeah. you know, he just has, he, you know, he goes up at the end. It's all right. You know, fucking. Uh. Confused and upset by homosexuals, but you know, seventy-nine percent of the country pretty much fucking voted. So and then you know, it was a majority. Like, so I gotta fucking put up with it. Ah, fucking crocodiles. Fucking like, if anything, I, I, I think the fucking the marriage survey showed the bigoted, crazy people where they could go and be safe in the country. <laughs> Yeah, which was really fucking largely nowhere except like immigrant communities, which is my favorite fucking thing. So and rural you, New South Wales. Yeah, if you want to be like, if you want to be homophobic, you can, but you can't also be racist. See, this is getting it's getting tricky now. You gotta you gotta be homophobic with the other ethnicities. Yeah. You know that's that's nature and harmony. You know, there's balance. No, you want to be homophobic? Gonna come out to out to my electorate? Bigger tree. Just, just, just cows and distance. That's all they <laughs> produce in Bob Carter's electorates. Vote for him for some weird regional reason that has no. <laughs> that's probably not real and has no bearing on it. While we're at it, can we get rid of fucking daylight savings, please? Look at that! Look at that! I it love it. Absolutely it's a drag. So wing. good. Look at it. <laughs> Crocodiles come for me in my night. Tell Take it, my kids. Yeah. Like the shit. Like the shit he was saying 
after the fucking, you know, because the, 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 the plebiscite was just the fucking thing to help uh, fucking cowardly moron politicians actually pass legislation for mm. fruits. Um, so when they actually had the vote, like, people were allowed to talk, and naturally, regrettably, Bob Catter wanted to talk. <laughs> it's like, there's, it's, again, you know, there's video of this, like, this is just stuff he says openly because his screaming brain can't process not to. But it got to the point where Christopher Pine was saying, you're speaking shit, like... And then, you know, Bob Carter did that thing where he, like, fucking thinly veiled threatened threat of violence, like, you know, if you don't stop talking like that, or something will happen, and it's like... I want someone to call fucking Carter out on that, because yeah. he's just an old dude. Like, I'd fight Bob Carter. You think I won't get in a rumble with some cunt that looks like he props up a bar in an RSL? He does look like he'd just fall over if you punched him. Like, I reckon he's got some fucking, you know, old man hard to him, but that... Worth it. Dude, what the fuck? But that, you know... That doesn't mean shit to somebody whose, like, hips aren't a fucking crusted <laughs> over layer of shit. Like... You know, I can still bend over. Those things seem to be going off, like, when you're further away. Hmm. They make coins. Oh, fucking... I don't have... Oh, I don't have Diddy. Fuck. That looks amazing in the background. What was that? It was what? I wouldn't see it. Giant Donkey Kong in the background. Oh fuck me! Holding a Wiimote? You didn't see that? No. Nah. I was I, focused on the fucking- looking? I was focused on the barrel! Oh, dude. I'll look at it, I'll look at it when I fucking I was, edit it. I, Cause I think it might have done something. I like, fucking ruining our lives with this <laughs> Devil May Care play style of yours. Devil May Kong. Yeah. Just fucking put a white mop on head on. <laughs> I'm feeling motivated, mother. I've never done anything with gay abandon, but I have done a lot of shit with vicarious disregard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fucking let the roses bloom. Crocodiles eat my voters. That's amazing that that man can say this shit and still like be allowed to be in politics. Like, I'm an advocate of democracy, and I maintain that. Yeah, if Bob, well, okay, the thing about Bob Carter is he may be. A degenerative sub moron, but the point is, at the very least, the things he says I feel come from his brain. Mm. You know, him, like, you know, there's, a, there's a few of them where they're basically fucking, you know, giant imbeciles, but the words that come out of their mouths definitely aren't, you know, highly curated pieces of poll speak. Mm. And the reality is that's got an appeal. You know, you, you're talking about the fucking Earth being flat and the Illuminati conspiracies and shit. At the very least, you sound like you're Lord a human being talking. Mm. And, you know, he, 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 he gets a lot of- Oh, fuck. Fucking yeah. delicious. He yeah. gets a lot of traction, you know, on that. And also, because again, he's Elector, it's a giant fucking, you know, just screaming pits of distance and hollering sunburnt 57-year-old imbeciles. Hey. Are they gonna hurt you? Who's, who's oh. shooting hummingbirds at me? Jesus. Alright, you can't hurt them. <laughs> Hummingbird army, fuck off. Because, you know, Bob Cat is essentially what happens when Sunstroke can vote. <laughs> just... And also, you know, Queensland is the... one of the most astonishing hillbilly backwaters. Fucking oh, special, go like, Go watch Moonlight North. State, if you don't believe me. You can go to fucking YouTube or go to ABC. 30 Report, Moonlight State. At a National Party fucking redneck... Well, so Joe Bielke Peterson, who, among other things, was essentially taking direct money from illegal prostitution and gambling <laughs> organizations in this country, whilst being a fucking, you know, religious zealot as well, because you can do both of those things. Fuck you, drag chicken. Drag chicken. Kind of be a peacock. Why aren't you hitting that thing? Because Hit I'm thing looking for shit. secrets. Well, I'm pretty sure that's where you gotta, like, go right. Da -da -da -da. No, usually these things take you to the background. See? Oh, it's broken. It's broken now. Fucking. All right, pig, help me rebuild it. I just we wave your flag. Technology. All right, I think that little that little like, bugger with his armor can't be fucking killed. Do love you. Jump in the one mark death. <laughs> hey Billy, get in the death barrel. Okay. Right, I'm gonna roll it down into traffic. I wish fucking Donkey Kong barrels were a way to get around. I feel like they'd be exactly like rolling down a hill in a tire, where like, you see it on cartoons and you're like, that looks like fun, and you don't think <laughs> about like, the realities of 
you know, gravity and shit, or, you know, force. Yeah. Because that's never been a good idea. Just like, you just need something at the end to go, oh, okay, cool, S stop you. Like a buffer. No, no, dude, <laughs> even rolling, it's not fucking fun. Okay, you're in a shitty fucking tire with, like, radial belts fucking poking you, and, you know, it... It's, it's not a pleasant experience. I've watched people do it. I've watched multiple people do it multiple occasions. I've been in one. That is amazing. It's not fun. It's a monster truck tire. Yeah, see, I wasn't... I... I admit, I did get in one. was like, I wonder if. And then it's horribly uncomfortable and unpleasant. It's yeah. Like, huh. I wonder where we got the monster truck tire from. That's That still plagues me to this day. I wish I had that. Those are good for fitness. You can, like, leap around the backyard and, like, beat them up and shit. You can flip them. Makes you look like a badass. <laughs> Fight a tire. And at the moment, I've got one. I mean, you could fight a tired nice. person. <laughs> I could fight a bum. I don't know what the fuck it is about humans. I right thought it was, right was going to go third. Like, fucking right. Like, what it is about humans stretching that's like the most interesting shit in the world to a cat. Yeah. But, God, they fucking love it. Like, because my little moron is just, you know, I'm trying to stretch, and, you know, the second she sees it, she's like, hey! And then she comes and fucking, you know, sheds on my face. <laughs> I make weird noises that are very not chicken-like. Those monkeys have seen some shit. Um. What the fuck is going um, on? Um. Oh, those just fucking drop. React, Aaron, react. Dude, there's no reacting. Yeah, there is. You gotta jump before they spin, yeah, otherwise that's, they're that's gone. Reaction. Not before they spin, before they fucking pop out. Ah. Oh. Watching a Todd trying to do a Sudoku. You can do it, come on! Come on, you got a G, yeah, alright, there's a fucking thing over there. Oh, yeah, yeah! I don't know, I'm gonna fight Metal Slug. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> not okay. Uh, I, don't know, ah! I don't know much about what's going on, but I want to worship your god. Well. Ooh. Oh, it's a clapper monkey. It's going to clap my barrels. Ooh, you got to lead that skin little his bit. Teeth. Like... All right. Come Woo! on. That's got some delay. It's got so much delay. Fuck you, stupid fucking thing. <laughs> the two of you are in the barrel! I want to go to a park now and convince kids to get to a tire. <laughs> hey, kids, <laughs> hey, kids. Get, hey, kids. get in the tire. It will be fine. I mean, A, it'll be funny for me personally, and B, it'll be hilarious for that report to get back to parents. Keep It Classy is proudly sponsored completely by its fans. We thank you for your support. Somehow. I'll have you know.